Hello there, my name is Lanius and I've created a Vim Team. Vim Team. Vim Color Scheme. Okay? So. Uh, I was posting about it a while ago because I kind of fallen into the Tokyo Night rabbit hole and I started using the Tokyo Night color scheme which originates from a VS Code color scheme I believe it's also in Sublime and of course there's also Tokyo Night for Vim but um, it wasn't exactly um, let's say right for me I didn't uh, fully like the color scheme in, in Vim so uh, at one point I kind of joked about uh, making my own scheme because I've uh, I've tested Sublime Text for a little moment and I thought that the theme in the Sublime Text looks quite like better. At least I've liked the Sublime Tokyo Night variant more. So I ended up uh, actually the same day making some, you know, basic version of my own theme, <laughs> which is very originally mm, called Kyoto Night. So. Mm, well, I'm not on the right screen. So, there is some screenshots. And yeah, the funny thing is that actually, to make this theme, I of course used the mm, original, uh, original VS Code theme the color palette actually which is here it's the original <coughs> the thing that started it all right so also before i was using nord uh, vim theme and i kind of looked in the code of the team, of course, I wasn't really mm, modifying it, but I realized that it's actually quite simple, it kind of has everything. So, what I actually have done, I haven't made you know strictly Neo Vim theme, I used the North theme code to actually make kind of my own theme so at first I just replaced the palette there from north mm -hmm, to the Tokyo night right <clears throat> but you know it was very mm, a simple uh, thing to do but I also find found out that I don't really want you know mm, Nord theme with a little mm, like more vivid colors because it ended up actually being just Nord theme with more colors and. And I've decided to tinker around a little more in in the theme itself. Also, I found a little maybe problems 
because uh, some elements of Vim were totally, I mean, not very readable, like some uh, error or or warning messages. It was like um, yellow background and white text, and it wasn't looking uh, too well, actually. <coughs> Also some some other some other little things also some some uh, Vim plugins weren't really um, supported like like the dashboard that I have here it was just uh, um, basic uh, foreground color so kind of whitish. <coughs> But it's not all I've done here. For this, pretty much is uh, everything that uh, that North Team had. So the um, light line, air line <coughs> themes, which I didn't really do much about them, other than just replacing the colors like in the actual theme but here I've made some changes other than just uh, you know changing some colors some mm, yeah some colors that actually all, all there is there are just colors right so let's take a look at the original code here as you can see of course the variables are named Nord right I changed them to Kyoto Knight at first but in the end I've totally just renamed them to the name of the colors and enjoy the more things so as you can see there are mm, GUI colors and terminal colors are separate here mm, this thing I haven't found anywhere it being used for anything so I don't really know why it's here uh, all these uh, configuration options I believe I uh, mm, I've kept uh, in my maybe not really this one I believe but what I also have done I've changed this function as you can see it takes here like the, the GUI foreground GUI background uh, terminal foreground terminal background and uh, Mm, some attributes like underline bold italic for you know uh, different fonts and the last one I will be mm, honest I'm not entirely sure what it does but it is here anyway so I've changed this around a little bit as you can see the colors have names and these variables aren't just you know <coughs> single color this is the GUI color and the terminal color in one variable so it's more readable I guess and also the names of the colors kind of <coughs> kind of tell what they actually do so as you can see here mm, Basically, you know, black, black one. Of course, the uh, black, black zero is darker. BG is background. FG is foreground. And this one is the highlight color, which I'm thinking about maybe changing because it's just you know taken from Tokyo Night uh, Vim theme. So I was thinking about something more. Um, sublime ish because sublime has this 
kind of purplish magenta reddish color but I didn't really get the um, right one for now and I'm not really sure if I will be even um, doing this I also thought about changing the cursor color but I'm not <coughs> sure that I will be doing this so I already added the new cursor color as you can see uh, so it's it's yellow there's also some extras added which I probably have mentioned in the video but here we are so there is this kitty team which is kind of linked wrong as you can see uh, it's there so made from alacrity and kitty theme from the original repo repo but what is interesting maybe is that i've also made a gtk theme to go with it because i didn't like the one from a gnome look it was based on uh, some other team and I wanted an uh, arc team and it works kind of nice it doesn't work with GTK4 for now but maybe I will fix it but as you see it looks kind of nice here anyway back to the video so uh, I've changed this so I had to rewrite this function so that it uses the lists here not you know not separate not the separate variables so also in a few other places <coughs> but most of the time it's you know the same thing less uh, variables I think a little more readable maybe of course I also added some few things here I changed some things around here as I've made the uh, window separator just uh, dark you know it's not this uh, regular line it's just uh, so also other change is that this uh, Novim 3 and Vim 3 is uh, has this dark background I probably should also check some other uh, similar uh, plugins to implement this but it isn't actually done yet <coughs> but what I have done Let's scroll, scroll, scroll. Of course, I believe many Vim gurus are now really hurting seeing me scroll around in Vim. Of course, there is some thing for Nerd 3, but it's just, you know, taken from Nord Theme, and most of these are just taken from Nord Theme, which I've kind of explain also in the uh, readme but here are my changes so colors for the dashboard and colors for nvim3 which actually are just uh, changing the root folder to this color and making it bold mm. also also the background right it's just this black zero not not bg <coughs> i also made some uh, fixes to the 
the top bar because it was doing some weird thing and I believe it might might be just a kind of error in North theme. Maybe I will contribute to this as I've taken, you know, quite a big chunk of code here. Actually, without North theme, there will be no Kyoto Night theme. <laughs> Because I don't think I would be able to create it like this. My other option was to just fork uh, Tokyo Night theme, but um, but I'm not very good at Lua, and I was also a little um, uh, ranting about it that. Mm. the Lua plugins are very you know, complex in that's the structure I mean there is a lot of files which require each other and stuff okay that's fine for for a uh, plugin I guess but I, what I was ranting about was uh, some you know on code Vim distributions, which actually make the Vim configuration so convoluted that I feel like I'm reading <coughs> code of one of these plugins and I can't just easily install, you know, some additional plugins. Of course, this is the original Neo Vim Tokyo Night theme, which was basically the main inspiration let's say <coughs> because if it wasn't there i wouldn't have this team on vim in the first place but i think i really didn't like and i also realized i didn't really like it in sublime too uh, i'm not a big fan of one of the colors I believe it's... Mm, I'm not really sure, but it's... I guess it's this cyan color which was used a bunch in the, in the original theme and it just kind of hurts my eyes so we might say that I've made my own Vim theme because I didn't like one of the colors and maybe that is, but it's also no, I've learned quite a bit about how the highlights work and I think I will be fixing some things here. Um, basically because a pre-sitter, which is the go-to solution for Vim for highlights, kind of perhaps the bet when it comes to PHTML, so uh, PHP template where there's HTML of course, there's PHP but there's also JavaScript and it just fails and I basically have no highlights for some chunks of JavaScript and it just sucks, so I've disabled the highlights for PHP totally and and what I want to explore more is the highlights that come from this COC NVIM because it has a bunch of highlights but in the long run, I guess I already have this kind of sorted out. Of course, I cannot really track how it works for everything because I don't use everything. So maybe if some people would be using it, I will maybe get some feedback about something. Also, another thing, which is kind of stolen from Tokyo Night, 
that I added this kitty theme, which is a kind of merge, a mix of uh, the Tokyo Night Alacrity theme and Tokyo Night Kitty theme because they differ a little bit and I kind of prefer the Alacrity one. <laughs> So it looks basically like this. The, uh, the kitty theme from original Tokyo Night was making this way too dark. And yeah. So that's a, this little video showing you that I've did a thing. Maybe you want to check out this you use Vim or I don't know why you would do it otherwise because this the kitty team I've quote unquote, quote made isn't really something special it's just uh, a la kitty theme colors pasted to kitty so but I just put this here because it's well it differs right from the original one but for other things if someone is like me and if I start using some theme in Vim or somewhere I want to you know spread it across whole system as you can see it's also Tokyo Night here So I recommend, still recommend just the stuff from the Tokyo Night. Maybe I will put some more like GTK theme and other things here also, but I don't know. Also, I think I've reached kind of um, stable point that I barely do anything. I mean, I haven't been tinkering in that color scheme like at all for a while now because it just works nicely so i think it's also a good moment to show it off in a video and yeah one thing i've uh, changed recently is this guy because it's used for uh, you know some concealed uh, text but <coughs> but what I spotted myself that it was used for uh, unused uh, code by COC not to say Hawk and Vim <laughs> uh, and basically without this foreground and the background it was by default using terminal dark gray and light gray which uh, I mapped to <coughs> I mapped to color I've called cream <coughs> which looks like like this so it was I guess uh, this color with this background and it was kind of totally unreadable so I had to fix this this, this is also why I want to uh, look more into these uh, COC highlights because I will be using them in PHP which is the most um, it's the language I work like most in <coughs> so maybe I will find some stuff to fix there because in three seater it already looked <coughs> quite fine okay I think I'm talking way too long about this right now but here it is I made a Vim color scheme you can check it out link will be in the description Tell me what you think and leave a like, subscribe, 
all that stuff okay so thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>